Welcome everyone to another Math Level Manager video tutorial. This time I'll be showing you how Math Level Manager works with Playmaker. Math Level Manager asset contains an example of Playmaker integration you can find here. Let's take a look into it. This is our level select screen. Let's enter first level and follow instructions to see what happens. Yes, we won! Next level and... We've won again! It's just amazing! As you see, there are few things to do to make it work like that. I'll show you step by step how to use Math Level Manager with Playmaker. This is my project. There is nothing within but standard folder structure to work with Math Level Manager I've been talking about in the first Math Level Manager video tutorial. When we have our level select screen, we can create extremely awesome playable levels where we can win using some actions. Let's create new scene. Every game needs a hero and every hero needs to be rewarded. This is our hero and this is gonna be treasure he will try to grab. I'll add some light to make it better and voila! This is how my game look like but this is where our adventure begins. Few more clicks and it'll be ready to play. Select our hero and choose Playmaker Editor from Playmaker menu. Ok, let's give our hero some actions to make. At start he will just stand in place. Create new state called standing. To control our player I will use just spacebar. Create new state of pressing keys called get key and select the key you want. In my case it will be space. In store result field we have to select variable like pressing down our spacebar which should be a boolean variable. Name it space down, select bool and return to state page. Select our space down variable and check every frame box. Now we have to test our boolean variable. In action browser search for bool test. Our bool variable is space down. Is true field is place where we have to select events in case of our bool variable is true. Go to events page and create one called space pressed. Now go back and choose it. Also here check every frame box. Let's add space pressed event to our standing state. Ok, we have a trigger to bring on some action. Create new state called walking and link space pressed with it. We want our hero to go for that treasure. In Action Browser, search for Move Towards action. As a game object, choose Use Owner. Target object is our treasure. Just drag it into this field. You can adjust rest of these fields as you want. But for Finish event, we have to create new event. I'll call it Treasure Reached. and choose it here. Ok, now our hero should go for it by pressing a spacebar. I'll just add information for player what we have to do to control his hero. We've finished to setting up what player should do to make actions happen using Playmaker resources. Now it's time to use Math Level Manager actions to finalize the level setup. I will use them to make the current level completed and to go to the next level in order. 
Let's create our last state called finish level. We need to get current level name in order to change its properties later. Add action get current level name. In store result we have nothing to choose. We need to create new variable. Name it level name and choose string as a type. Now search for set level completed. This action will mark your level as completed. If you really want so, you can also set already completed level as not completed. As you can see, this action requires a level name that we've read before. The value settings will determine if this property will be enabled or disabled. Now search for set level boolean. This action sets level boolean property. Properties in Math Level Manager are used to save the game state and change appearance of level select screen icons. Here we will enable star 1, star 2 and star 3 properties to mark that player have completed a level with 3 stars score. Of course, in your game most probably you would choose to give player smaller amount of stars if he does not deserve it. Although this is just an example, so we will enable all three of them. When we will get back to level select screen, you will clearly see that all three stars are visible on the icon level as well. These properties must have exactly the same name as properties in level select screen icon. At last we're executing load level by name action. It just loads level by name defined in level configuration. It's important to use only math level manager load level actions because only these actions are aware of level names and math level manager keeps track of loaded levels so for instance you can go back to previous plate level later. Using playmaker provided load level actions will break some core functionality so be careful. This is how we finally get everything working. Let's test it out. Thank you for watching and have a fun working with Playmaker using Math Level Manager. If you have questions, please write in the comment section below or by sending an email visible in the description. Cheers!